So it's the end of the third day of racing and I'm joined by no less than the 2016 Olympic gold medalist, Giles Scott. Great last race, uh, but it's still been really tricky racing. Can you just tell us why it's so hard to be consistent in Villamora? Yeah, it has. Um, it's been a super tricky week and uh, I think the guys who have managed to put in a consistent series have, have done really quite well. Um, there's quite a few of us out there, me included, that have got some high scores, high scores on the board. Um, I think uh, I think it's especially tricky this week just because we've, um, you know, we're racing in one fleet. We uh, we've been racing on a big, big course, uh, 1.3, 1.4 miles long. And so for laser sailors at home, that's that's twice what we're used to. Uh, so the the big men, you do big courses. Yeah, we do. These at our uh, World and European Championships, we uh, we push out the course length a bit, and we have 75 minute target times. Um, and uh, it does make tricky venues a little bit trickier because so uh, you more get more leverage. More leverage. Yeah, you get on the wrong side of something, you're uh, you know it's hard to come back from. Um, and I think uh, a few of us have felt the pain of that at times throughout the course of these uh, first six races. And uh, I guess you haven't spent that much time in the wonderful Finn recently. Is it is it still a, quite a learning curve or relearning curve, I should say? Yeah, maybe a little bit of relearning. I've um, I've been out of the Finn for about six months now. Um, been down in in New Zealand till now with uh, with Ineos Team UK, which was which was good fun. But um, now, yeah, the focus is uh, is on the Olympic Games, which is you know I think 99 days away now. Uh, so it's yeah, really is just around the corner, and uh, I especially have uh, have not got too much time. So uh, yeah, we're, we're we're into it hard, and we've got a great group with uh, Henry Weatherall and Ben Cornish and Coach Matt Howard. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a big push for the next three months. Well, I, I don't know anyone who turns up at Olympics and feels they had too much time to prepare. Uh, yeah. But back to Villamora, halfway through the regatta, um, maybe a little bit more wind. Uh, tomorrow, what's what's your thoughts about the upcoming days? You did a big move up the leaderboard today. Yeah, um, I think I'm ex I'm expecting much of the same. Um, I don't think the next two days is going to be easy at all. Uh, I'm expecting uh, a very difficult set of four races to try and get through. Um, you know, it's been it's been good fun, but uh, yeah, there's been there has been a lot certainly for me to learn over the last week, and uh, it's good to good to take forward, but. You know, hopefully the next four races can go well for me. And uh, lastly, a few black flags today. That probably changed the uh, orders or put the pressure in different places. It's always a little difficult when you end up with letters on your on your score sheet. Uh, what's your thoughts about that? Are you sort of playing it safe or is that just the um, way it's gone? Well, it's always tricky again with these big fleets. It's, uh, you know, you've got you've got to get out in front to make the, be able to make the first call and not get dictated to. And, you know, as we go through the series, that's uh, you know some people are pushing it harder than others. Um, I think the other thing that, that that probably played into that is yesterday we had half a knot of current with the wind, and today we didn't. So, relatively to how we were starting yesterday, you had to have a little bit of a change in mindset just with how quickly we were all approaching the line. Yeah, the old change of gears. Well, I'm sure you want to uh, get back and uh, do your recovery process. Thanks very much for your time. All right, thank you.